So here we have a 20 valve for AGE distributor and uh, modified the trigger wheel so that there's a missing tooth here and a missing tooth 180 degrees from there which is 360 crank degrees and we have this hooked in um, to our SDS EM4F via a little embedded signal converter which takes the variable reluctance trigger signal from the distributor and converts it to a SDS four cylinder pattern and um, these converters I have another version here with a little dip switch block on it so I can do multiple trigger patterns I can just flip switches to configure it for GM 7x patterns or GM 58x or Ford 36 minus 1 so different different patterns same converter here so we'll power it up and see how it works turn our power supply on here so our SDS is all booted we'll go to the first gauge screen which shows us RPM so we see a blinking red light that means our engine is not rotating the yellow light right here means that we have a, uh, a signal pattern error and the green light illuminates every time we get a variable reluctance pulse so I have my trusty battery powered drill here and we'll use the drill to power the distributor and we'll see what we get on the RPM display Here we go. So our pattern is locked in. We got a green light. And if we rev our drill up, we see that it works fine. And then when the drill stops, of course, the red light starts blinking again, which shows that our engine is no longer rotating. So when the pattern first starts, when the engine first starts to rotate, it takes about one crank revolution for the pattern to lock in. So you'll see the yellow light briefly, sometimes. See the yellow light, now we're locked in, so it's just going to be the green light from then on out. And that's all there is to it. So it's a totally simple way of triggering your SDS using your OE variable reluctance sensor so you don't have to make a trigger mount or anything. So, pretty simple.